Now, I know what you're thinking. Oh God, another video criticizing Gen Z. Hear me out, I know, I'm sick of it, I'm Gen Z too, but in this video, I'm here to talk about an actual phenomenon that has been observed in Gen Z as they start approaching their college years and entering the workforce. And that phenomenon is learned helplessness and computer illiteracy. So before I fully get into this video, I just wanted to say that I do not mean to bash the people I'm talking about in this video. No one is born knowing how to use a computer and not everyone has the same access to technology and education about technology. I mean, most people I know can't even afford a computer or they just have no interest in tech at all. So it's understandable why they just don't know how certain things work. But I sort of noticed how The Sims games encourage people who may know nothing about tech to take an interest and want to develop their IT skills, as basic as those IT skills may be. However, on the other hand, The Sims community demonstrates a level of learned helplessness that I have never seen in any other gaming community. And I think that goes hand in hand with people noticing Gen Z's lack of tech literacy. So tech literacy when it comes to Gen Z is referring to the fact that although Gen Z spends most of their time on their phones, they have zero clue how to work a computer. There have been several articles that I've seen, forum posts even, and a few TikToks I've seen describing how students don't even know where files are stored on their computer. Now, in essence, and this is purely my opinion by the way, the reason people are more adept at using their phones than their laptops isn't just due to familiarity. I think it's due to user interface. If you think about it, a smartphone is a smaller version of a computer. It can nearly do everything a computer can do, just on a smaller scale. But Apple iOS, which is presumably what most people in North America are using, dumbs down and simplifies every single feature that a computer would have and just hides it behind a pretty UI. Like the average Apple user will never have to see what the back end of a site or an app looks like, unlike those of us who spent our Tumblr or MySpace days learning HTML. But this oversimplification of technology is what leads to a lack of learning. Instead of people having to figure things out on their own by going down a Google rabbit hole, everything is handed to them on a silver platter. An Apple iOS user doesn't have to deal with learning exactly where their photos are stored or even what an EXE is. And I'm not trying to be like, rah, you dang kids and your dang smartphones. But when this incompetency with technology is leading teenagers to not know how to make a resume or even how to write a paper for college, then yeah, that's a problem. Now, how does The Sims play into all of this? Well, The Sims as a franchise has existed since 2000 with the launch of The Sims 1, meaning generations of kids now, and people of all ages really, have grown up playing the games and learning how to use a computer through the franchise. The Sims games have some of the largest modding communities in existence due to the nature of the game. And The Sims has a history of being very user-friendly to those who want to put mods in their game and even those who want to make mods themselves. Simply learning to mod The Sims has put some Sims players miles ahead of the allegedly illiterate Gen Z. At the same time though, there are people that, despite having the resources and tutorials available, to learn to mod their game and to troubleshoot it, there's still this prevailing sense of learned helplessness, specifically i found that's going on on Reddit. Now before I dive into the Reddit shenanigans, I just want to take a moment to define learned helplessness. The proper use of the word is actually a psychological term used to describe a trauma response, but it's been used more on social media as sort of a buzzword. But in this video, the way I'm going to use the term learned helplessness is to describe when a person is unable to find resolutions to difficult situations, even when a solution is accessible. Now let's take a look at some examples of that. So essentially, a common theme across the main Sims subreddits is people asking about an issue with their game despite that issue being easily googleable. And now this wouldn't necessarily be an issue if you didn't have hundreds of people asking the same thing every day. It got so bad to the point that one of the top posts from the r slash the sims mods subreddit reads, update your mods. Is your UI broken? Update your mods. Did you update UI cheats and it's still broken? It's another mod then. <laughs> update tool, better build by, more cast columns, wicked whims, MCC, anything by the pancake one. There are a myriad of mods that can and will break your UI. Update your mods. It will always be your mods. And the top comment on this post reads, you know, as sound as this advice is, it still won't stop these posts from coming in every few minutes. <laughs> well, even the sidebar of the Sims 4 mod subreddit itself says, happy simming, and update your mods. And another popular comment on that thread said, I get annoyed when people are like, what mod is messing my game up? LMAO, too lazy to figure it out myself. Like they're admitting they know it's a mod, AKA not a mod beginner, just that they want the gratification of making other people do the work. And someone replied, yes, if you're going to mod your game, then you need to take responsibility for knowing what mods do and what is compatible with what. If you have zero computer literacy, you have no business downloading mods. And yet another one of the most popular posts shows people's frustration with 
people not Googling things. This one reads, what part of don't play with mods right after an update do people not understand? I hate to be a downer, but every mod creator, sim guru, and sim blog tells you to remove all mods and CC from your game until the creators have had time to update and ensure they work with the new patch. But within an hour of the update, Reddit is flooded with why isn't my game working posts. Sorry for the rant, it's crazy how many posts about the game not working correctly with outdated mods there are. And that, my friends, is exactly what I'm talking about when I use the word learned helplessness. Despite all the hand-holding that YouTube, Google, and Reddit gives you, and not to mention the thousands of tutorials that are out there on all those sites, hell, even just looking at the first Google result would be sufficient enough. We still have people not utilizing the resources around them and going straight to social media. Like, I don't know about you guys, but for me, making my own post and asking my own question about something is my last resort. Like, the internet is insanely vast, and if you have a problem about anything, and not just just like The Sims, there is probably an answer already out there for it. Instead of taking the time to type out a question and then above all waiting for someone to reply to you, you can get the answer by googling in a way shorter amount of time. It just doesn't make sense to me because isn't convenience a thing that's like valued by people? <laughs> like why would you purposely waste your time? And this is my opinion, but I think it's the relatability and personal connection aspect of it. Like people want to feel like they're talking to a real person and not just some AI written article about the help they need. But if that's the case, then why don't people dedicate this need for social connection to asking discussion questions that are thought-provoking? Like instead of asking a simple technical question that's easily Googleable, why don't you just ask a question about, I don't know, like what do you guys think about this mod? I don't know, it just doesn't make sense to me. And even through researching, I can't quite pinpoint on why this is so common in the Sims community, or at least the Sims community on Reddit. Actually, a comment on the post I mentioned earlier reads, I have so much respect for the mods of the major sims discord channels that have to field these questions every single patch update. So clearly, this isn't just an issue on the sims reddit community. Apparently, it's also a problem on Facebook too, as evidenced by this comment. I'll never understand the lack of comprehension people have in regards to mods and game updates, especially massive ones. I think the Facebook groups are worse though. People made posts about this very thing for two whole days and people are still shocked that there are broken mods and their games aren't working with them. This is why I play without updating for a month at least. Also why my tolerance for the same questions regarding mods is so low I'm not nice about it anymore. Now because this is a problem on Facebook too apparently, I wouldn't know, I don't use Facebook, <laughs> I think there might be an overlap with people who literally just won't read things and people who suffer from learned helplessness. Some people just refuse to use the resources available to them and just give up if something appears too complicated, but other people just don't want to read and that's it. So how do we fix this problem in the Sims community? The answer is... I don't know. <laughs> I mean, no matter how much the sim guru states the answer to something, no matter how many Google search results state the answer to something, there's still going to be people who just don't want to take the time to read. And that's all well and good, like not everyone is interested in learning how to mod or learning how a computer works, but it becomes a problem when people are getting harassed because of people's inability to be resourceful. So what do you guys think? Uh, I really want to know if this problem is prevalent in other communities, and if you guys notice this trend of tech literacy and learned helplessness going on in other other online spaces. Do you think that all of this is a symptom of a greater problem or is this really just not a big deal at all and I'm just yapping? <laughs> Thank you so much for watching guys and I'll see you later.